ChatGPT 4.0 just launched recently and there are so many things you can do with it now. Thanks to a host of new features and new technology alongside it, we now have one of the most advanced versions of ChatGPT at our disposal. Because of this, we're seeing thousands if not hundreds of thousands of businesses start to adapt ChatGPT into their business model, as well as just average day-to-day -day people integrating it into their lives and making things easier, more efficient, and obviously better. So the question is, with this new model of ChatGPT, what can we do with it and how can we utilize it on a day-to-day -day basis? In this video, I'm going to be covering 15 amazingly cool things that you can do with ChatGPT 4.0. I'll be giving you guys a complete rundown of how to use each prompt and how that fits into your daily life and how to make things easier. If you guys want to get started with ChatGPT, make sure you use the links down in the description below. And also, if you guys want to check out some of our other videos that we have on ChatGPT, make sure to check them out on the channel. We have an entire video dedicated to covering every single feature in inside of ChatGPT 4.0. If you guys wanna learn everything there is to know about actually what this new model has in store for us, make sure to check out one of our other videos on this channel. Other than that though, let's dive right into what this new model of ChatGPT can really do. Now, as you can see, we're inside of ChatGPT 4.0 right now. And if you guys don't currently have access to that, you're gonna to go to the top left here where there's this little drop down arrow. And if you're already on 3.5 or ChatGPT 4, you can upgrade 4.0 by clicking this one right here. If you don't have any of these options available, it's because you're not paying for the premium version of ChatGPT, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. Now, if you actually wanna get started with the premium version of ChatGPT, this is what it would look like for a completely new account. The first thing you wanna do is head on over down here to the bottom left where it says sign up. You'll hit the sign up button and then you'll create a quick account with ChatGPT. Once you've created that account, you'll then have the pricing models between either the free option or the plus option, the team option, or the enterprise option. We'd recommend going with the plus option. This is how you're going to get direct access to the GPT 4.0. You'll also get full access to all the other chat GPT models as well. And of course, to get started with this, you'll hit the start now button and you'll apply it to your account once you enter in your payment details. Now that we're inside of the plus version of ChatGPT, let's actually show you what this model can do. As you can see here, I've typed in the box down here, show me real-time responses without changing tabs. This is a new feature with ChatGPT 4.0 and I'll just show you what it can do. As you can see, I asked GPT 4.0 to actually show me this whole process in the first place. The first thing it says is, sure, I can provide real-time responses directly within this chat without requiring you to switch tabs. Please let me know what specific information or assistance you need and I'll provide the right response here. So for a perfect example for this, I have the script for this video up on the left side in this tab right here. Let's say I wanna pull a specific piece of information out from that Google Doc and put it into this chat without having to switch tabs. I'll simply ask ChatGPT to go over to the tab with my script and pull out a specific piece of information. As you can see here, I typed out, can you go to the tab with Google Docs and the 15 cool things to do and find number seven on that list. I'll then simply hit the enter button, once I hit the enter button, ChatGPT will then go over to my Google account and pull that specific piece of information right out of my Google Drive. I don't have to switch over to my tab. I don't have to do any integrations. ChatGPT just knows how to do this because it's already linked with my Google account. This can be super helpful if you're working inside of ChatGPT and you don't want to have to bother with switching tabs or going to different platforms. Everything is integrated into one singular place. Now, the next feature of ChatGPT 4.0 is multiple persona interactions. As you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and ask ChatGPT, what are multiple persona interactions? ChatGPT will then tell me that basically artificial intelligence, chatbots, and virtual assistants will give you a persona that they're talking from. Now, specifically, what this new model will allow us to do is have different people or different personas that we can talk to. So instead of talking to one singular GPT response platform, we can talk to multiple at the same time. What I'm going to do to show you guys this is head into ChatGPT and say, give me an example of multiple persona interactions. Now, as you can see, ChatGPT has now spit out a full example of this. And the first one is basically a customer service chatbot for an e-commerce website. What this can do is create a chatbot that's, for instance, a friendly greeter. The name of this persona is Alex. And basically what they do is they welcome users, provide general information, and help guide people through the website. There's also persona two, which is the tech expert. For this one, they're basically providing detailed information, technical specifications, and giving much more detailed analysis on things. And for persona three, this is the support specialist. This is somebody who's super good at post-purchase support. As you can see from these three personas, what ChatGPT can do is essentially give you different outcomes depending on which persona you're required. Let's say we're selling hard drives and I want the tech support persona to respond to a person who has a question about how many gigabytes a hard drive holds. ChatGPT will then generate a response for me based 
on this persona and then I can feed it to that person answering their question. This is super helpful for new companies who are just getting started with a persona technology or have chatbot service. ChatGPT can also act as an intermediary or even a game show host or a host in general. This means that ChatGPT can look over things like rock, paper, scissors, basic board games, chess games, and any kind of game where it requires it to have an arbitration skill. ChatGPT can also basically host game shows, being the host of the game show and giving you different prizes, rewards, and benefits for actually completing the game in the first place. One of the biggest benefits that ChatGPT has at its disposal is actually the ability to house the internet. What this means is that if you want to look up something like how many bones are in the human body and what is the 50 second bone in the left leg, you could literally have ChatGPT do a quick Google search on this and find instant answers. What this means is that ChatGPT now has full accessibility to the internet, meaning you don't have to install any plugins or include anything in the first place. ChatGPT 4.0 can also do full code analysis and interpretation. Here's a perfect example of it. Let's say I typed in this line of code down here in a ChatGPT's chat box. I'm then gonna hit the enter key a couple of times and ask ChatGPT to explain to me what this line of code does. Once I ask it this, it will then give me a very detailed summary of what this line of code is and how it actually works. As you can see at the top portion here, it even breaks it down into the constant variable option and tells me that it basically is just saying hello. It also tells me that it logs the variable to the console with this command right here. You can do this for any piece of code and this is a great way to actually get started learning code in the first place if you're unfamiliar with it. Now, one of the super interesting things that ChatGPT can do now is actually have an emotional awareness. This means that if you're trying to convey emotion in something, ChatGPT understands how to convey that emotion now. So if you're trying to write something in an angry, or sarcastic tone, you can do so. You can also fully interact with ChatGPT's language model and give it aggressive responses or non-aggressive responses, meaning that ChatGPT will appropriately respond to those aggressive responses or non-aggressive responses, vice versa. One of the really cool things about ChatGPT 4.0 is that you can actually create your own GPT. To actually do this, you'll head over to the top right, click the profile icon, and head over to Customize ChatGPT. Once you select that, you then can enter in custom instructions for how you want ChatGPT to respond to you. You could even type something out like, be really mean to me every time I ask a question. Now when I ask ChatGPT, how do I find the square root of 28? It will then tell me this. It'll then say, oh, come on, you really can't figure out the square root of 28 on your own? Fine, I'll help you. The square root of 28 is approximately 5.29. It's not an integer, but it can be simplified. And then it even says a kind of a nice little sarcastic, try to remember that next time. With ChatGPT 4.0, you can also fully integrate it into your customer service integrations. This is great for things like chatbots, or if you're just trying to do customer service to people on a large scale, especially for easy to answer simplified questions. ChatGPT also has its image generator where you can fully generate images inside of ChatGPT on the fly. You can also generate highly complex 3D models inside of ChatGPT 4.0. As you can see, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a 3D model of string theory. Once I ask ChatGPT to do this, it will then take a short amount of time and a loading screen will play. As you can see, this is the 3D model it's created of string theory. And again, this is just one example. You can create any image you can think of as long as you can figure out a way to type it out. One of the other big benefits of ChatGPT is actually planning out content and creating content for your business. Let's say you run a dog care business and you want to make content for people who care about actually feeding their dogs the right food. You can simply ask ChatGPT, what are some problems pet owners have when they're trying to feed their dog? As you can see, it will generate a comprehensive list of problems that pet owners have when it comes to trying to feed their animals. What we then can do is ask ChatGPT to create a list of comprehensive, engaging title hooks for short form content. Once we've done that, ChatGPT 4.0 will then fully generate these title hooks. And if we want to expand on this information, we can also ask it to search the internet for any more information that it thinks would be helpful. In my my opinion guys ChatGPT 4.0 is an incredibly useful tool and it's one that's starting to become more and more used by every single business person and corporation around the world in my opinion ChatGPT 4.0 has become so much more useful than its original 3.5 version with this new model it's going to only become more and more popular that ChatGPT is utilized on a day-to-day -day basis not just by large corporations but by people like you and me because of this I'd really recommend getting started using ChatGPT it's only going to become more and more popular as the years go on on, and I can't wait to see what new features and benefits we get from it as it continues to advance. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe so you guys never miss any of our new videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.